All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Big B, and we are back for another edition of Big Big Business. In today's video, we're going back in time and revisiting the house of Terry Mugler or Mugler, whatever suits your fancy. And although I've mentioned fragrances from the house in past videos, I haven't done a full review on the Mugler house, I don't know, since May. I think it's yeah, since I reviewed Crypto Mint back in May, so it's been quite some time since we truly experience what they have to offer. The fragrance we're discussing today is about 10 years old and until recent, it was probably one of the more difficult fragrances to find. And that fragrance is Mugler's Pure Coffee. I guess you guys wanna see the box. There you go. I did a video a few months ago about the top three benefits of wearing fragrances and briefly touched based on this one. Pure Coffee fit that video so well because we were going for that boost and that jolt of energy without caffeine. Then you will want to reach for a fragrance that has coffee in it and what's better than a fragrance that's named Pure Coffee. I personally consider this one to be an underrated fragrance for the house and if you aren't familiar with it, then get familiar with it. I mean, I'm assuming that's why you're watching the video. I mean, yeah. This one has patchouli, coffee, cedar, and vetiver, and yields similar results as drinking a hot cup of coffee. I mean, at least in terms of providing that extra jolt of energy. This is a unisex fragrance that leans a bit more on the masculine side, if you ask me. As with all Mugler fragrances, at least from the Amen line, it's difficult to spray unless you, you know, hit it right there. You gotta. Like most Amen flankers, this one has the backbone of the original Amen in its DNA with a few extra notes mixed in. The coffee in this fragrance is definitely detectable to me. And to me, this one is more of a true coffee note. Now, when you think of coffee, there's a ton of different ways you can think of coffee, right? You can take the Killian approach and you can have Ethiopian coffee. You can have Turkish coffee. You can have um, French press coffee. You can have hot coffee. You can have cold coffee. To me, the coffee in this one smells more like a bag of coffee grounds. As this one dries down, it becomes a bit more earthy and that patchouli begins to really shine through. I tend to get good performance with this one when I wear it, although I must admit I don't reach for it as much as I should. To me, this one is a fall and winter based fragrance that brings a sense of warmth. I find this one to be a bit invigorating and this is one hell of a versatile fragrance. In my book, this one ranks about an eight out of 10, all things considered when you look at the performance, the price, the smell, this is an all around great buy. And one thing I forgot to mention on this one is the compliment factor. I reached for this one recently, um, I wore it to work and uh, someone that worked with me like, hey, I need that right now in my household. What is it? I'm like, what? what are you talking about? What are you talking about you need? Whatever you got on, I need it right now for my man. I'm like, whoa, cool. Let me tell you what it is. You know, I, I put you in contact with the right people, you know, to make sure that you get this one for the best price. Now, if you guys have any experience with this fragrance, comment below and let me know. Also, comment below and let me know what is your favorite out of the Amen lineup. I'm your boy, Big Big B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. You know, pour yourself a little cup of pure coffee. And while you're at it, hit the goddamn bell.